Today we're going to look at restoring deleted files using a program called PhotoRec. Should be in your repositories, but the uh, package name is not PhotoRec. I'm going to search through here. I think it's called Test Disk or something like that. Yeah, Test Disk is the package. So use your package manager, install that. You can see the I here. I already have it installed. And at that point, you can just start up PhotoRec. Uh, technically, you should start it up as sudo or root, but if you don't, you'll see here it gives you a message saying, would you like to uh, log in as sudo? Click that. It will ask for your password. Type that in. Now, uh, down here, I just bought my wife a uh, flip video camera, and I bought it used. So uh, there are no videos on it, but I'm assuming there was at some point. So let's uh, try to restore files that have been deleted off the flip camera, which is right here. Now, I do want to note, um, first thing you do, if you accidentally delete files from a hard drive, uh, like a flash drive or a uh, SD card or some other card from a camera, immediately turn off the device and take that chip out or unplug that device because operating systems and those devices are constantly writing log files and you can only restore files this way if they have not been overwritten and so you don't want the files to get overwritten and I'll go into more explanation of that in a minute but unplug it if you delete a file on your hard, internal hard drive shut the computer off and then uh, your best bet is to boot to a live CD uh, that way you can prevent the hard drive from being mounted until you're ready to go. Anyway, at this menu, we're going to choose our hard drive they want. I'm going to choose the flip video camcorder here. Next, it's going to ask you um, the partition table. In most cases, it's going to be Intel, uh, but there's a few other options here. If you're running Solaris, you might want to use Sun or Mac, but most... Uh, devices in a lot of cases you're going to be using this for deleted files from a device like you accidentally deleted video or still images from a camera it's going to be in a fat32 which is an intel pc partition so we'll choose that uh, now you can tr search just the partition or the whole disk uh, and uh, in this case there's only one partition and you can see it's it's the same thing if you do a whole disk it searches a, a a little bit more space on there probably not could be anything there but it doesn't really matter but if you want to be thorough just pick whole disk uh, at this point um, I know that this device is using a fat partition but uh, it's asking you what file format it is and that's something you should know but in most cases as I said it's gonna be a fat partition uh, and now it's gonna ask you where you want to save the files. Do not pick the device you're restoring from because as it restores files it will overwrite other ones. So I'm just going to go down here to my temp folder on my internal hard drive and I have an empty folder here called that I already created called flip restore. I'm gonna hit Y at this point and it is going to start searching that entire uh, device. Now take into account this is going to find every file that has been on that that is on that device and whether it's been deleted or not so this is a four gig camera it may restore four gigs worth of stuff make sure you have the space needed and uh, like I said in most cases you're gonna be using a chip from a camera or something if you need to restore a file that has been deleted from your internal hard drive and you got a 256 gig hard drive or uh, like a terabyte hard drive you're going to be restoring a lot of stuff. Now, uh, I skipped over it, but uh, somewhere in one of those menus, there was an option to choose what type of files you want to restore. By default, now, we are restoring a any file it finds that knows how to restore Office documents, photos, videos, music. But you could choose just restore Office documents, just restore photos. And so that would be an option you'd want to go to if you're working with an extremely large drive. Um, so it's going to go through here and this is it this is the uh, flip restore folder it created a folder inside there we'll click on that and as it restores the files they'll start appearing in here um, let me explain basically what this is doing uh, when you have a file on a hard drive it has the file information but the first few uh, bits of information on that file tells the computer that it is a file and what type of file it is. It's the header of the file. 
when you delete a file, here we go, we're getting some files up uh, restored already. When you delete a file, it doesn't delete all of that information. It deletes, it removes that header. So your operating system just ignores that information, but the information is still there. This program basically looks at the information and says, hey, that looks like a MP4, this looks like an AVI, this looks like a text file, and it tries to restore it. Uh, once again, uh, this will only work if the information has been written over. Some cases, if you're restoring photos, if part of the picture has been written over, you'll get like the top half of a photo, and then the bottom half will be like a gray color or just pixelation. Um, you can see here it's already restored uh, five files, one of them being a text file. It's found four video files. One of them has not created an icon yet. That tells me that video file is probably corrupt. Probably part of it has been overwritten. Uh, and it's still going. It gives you a little output here that's recovered three movie files and one text file. It has an estimated uh, that it's going to probably take about 20 minutes, 19 minutes to go through everything on this hard drive. Uh, but let's uh, watch uh, one of these videos, see what's on it. Here we go. And the video is playing just fine. Some guy, I have no clue who he is. Looks like he's uh, in a warehouse. He maybe, uh, this probably is a tester since I bought the device used. They were probably testing the device. That's exactly what this looks like because they got a bunch of stuff all around. So they probably tested the device and then formatted it to remove the video, but formatting doesn't delete, doesn't delete the, uh, the, uh, the files. Uh, got some other ones out here in snow. This is probably the previous owner. Let's see. That one's 350 megabytes. This one's 64 megabytes. Let's just select two of them. Press enter here. Got some people out under a bridge in the snow. So we'll, I'm just going to skip ahead. Oh, what was that? Oh, we got some, uh, oh, I guess a guy with dogs on a dog sled. That's pretty interesting. Go to the next one. Some kids. So that is, you can see more being restored. I've got two video files here now that look like they're corrupt since the icon isn't generated. So I'm going to click that. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's not playable. That means that some other file that has been written to this camera has overwritten part of that file. And there still may be a way to grab uh, maybe some of that video because some of the information is still there. I haven't really tried that, but I'm sure it's possible. So here's the question is, how do you uh, prevent people from recovering deleted files like this? And the answer is, make sure the file is overwritten. I mean, a low tech way in this case is you can format the device and then press record and let it record a video that fills up the hard drive and that will overwrite any information on there. Uh, in a uh, Unix based operating system, you can write raw data to the device uh, which I might go over in another tutorial. You can write all zeros or random stuff. That sort of stuff can uh, take a long time, but it will really clear out everything on there because it will overwrite everything with random information or zeros. Um, but basically, just make sure the information gets overwritten because just deleting stuff, as you can see, doesn't really delete stuff. So that is how you use PhotoRec. Like I said, it's going to keep on going. Uh, now it's saying estimated time is about 10 minutes and it's going to keep on recovering files. It might find more video files. It will also find any files that are, aren't are deleted. As I said, it, it doesn't look, oh, this file has been deleted, this file hasn't. It just says, oh, there's a file, oh, there's a file. So uh, go ahead and play with that. Once again, it's PhotoRec. It's open source. should be in your repositories under test disk. Uh, if you are on another operating system, such as Windows, uh, they do have it for Windows too. You'll have to search and download it. But once again, especially if it's on your internal hard drive, I suggest uh, using a Linux Live CD just to make sure that nothing gets mounted that you don't want mounted because if the file gets overwritten, the file gets overwritten, then you're really screwed if you're trying to restore something important. So uh, keep on watching. Visit filmsbychris.com, and I hope that you have a great day.